The snowblower is back and it is better than ever. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham, we got new mods today. First things first, you notice that they're not on here. I don't see them. I am in latest mods and I don't see these anywhere. Well, I've got an Xbox controller hooked up to my PC. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit down on the left stick. Boom, show all mods. Now, all four of the new mods that we got today have been shown the Fortress, the Milling Machine, the Hardy, and the Limpiki all have shown up. So if you don't hit that left stick, you're not gonna see them. So always when we get new mods, go to latest, which is at the far right, and hit that left stick, show all mods. It may be different for you. Look at the bottom of your screen. It'll tell you what controls do what. Again, show all mods. Boom, there you go. First things first, let's take a look at this. The Hardy Navigator 6000 row crop. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, what is different from this? They don't say anything on the website. It doesn't, it says nothing. What it is is new wheels, better rims, and new decals, safety labels, models. So very cool. This is by JAHG Modding. Very, very good modder. I mean, it's almost ridiculous how good those guys are over there. So phenomenal job on that guy right there. We've also got updates to the Fortress right here. Very, very good. Check this out. Updates are fixed front wheels and fixed sounds. Now the front wheels look good. So whatever they did, they must have must have done it right. Let's hop in and let's see what it sounds like. Sounds the same as it did, gotta be honest with you. But, you know, when you can't notice anything big, it must have been a good job. They must have done a very good job. So everything is exactly the same on these as you remember it being. We're gonna take a look at them anyway though. Let's go into crop protection. We're gonna come all the way over here to Hardy Navigator 6000 row crop. This costs exactly the same amount, holds the same amount, is everything's the same except for the, di the design. Ooh, look at those wheels too. Man, they look good. So we've got USA Safety Triangle, Oversized Load. So you can pick whichever one of these you like. Wheel setups, these are ridiculous. 30 inch row crops, 30 inch twin row crops, 36 inch row crops, a little wider, 36 inch twins, and wide tires, which kind of bring up the axle just a little bit, pretty wide. How cool is that? That is awesome. They're all trailer Borgs, of course, if that matters to you. So there you go. How's about that? And GPS configuration, we've got no Starfire 3000 and Starfire 6000. Don't worry, console guys, this means absolutely nothing. And I don't have the GPS mod installed on PC, so it means nothing to me as well. But it's really cool. I love this, my man, it looks good. It, it just makes, you start using it, you're like, oh yeah, let's go. Big American machinery. These guys right here, they are in small tractors. You're gonna go in vehicles, small tractors, and they should be almost all the way to the end right here. 323A and 320A. The 323 is a four wheel drive and the 320 is a rear wheel drive. Other than that, nothing else has changed inside. Of course, you have your same rim color options, your same body color designs, fenders, front loaders, wheel loader, you know, when I say wheel loaders, wheels, same things that we had before, this has as well. So if you're familiar with these, nothing in here has changed. However, with this guy right here, this, this is a big change right here. This is the milling machine. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to get it because we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this guy. Miscellaneous, you're gonna find it in here. Boom, right there. Requires 95 horsepower, three meter working width, it says it goes six miles per hour, but I don't, I did, <laughs> it goes way faster than that. I gotta tell you right now. It says with a milling machine, you can safely load different materials, but be, <laughs> but beware of deep flying potatoes. I, I think they're trying to be funny there. I, I, I've had no problems with the potatoes. It will take every single crop, any crop, as a matter of fact, all of them, Main color, let's go with a nice hearty red. Design, look at this, you can change the teeth. The pink is very pink, check that out. 
Oh, I could have hurt your eyes a little bit. But you wanted to go a little hardcore? There you go, right there. <laughs> I love it. This thing is big. You look at it, you're like, eh, not that bad. Check this out. This is on the front of the Optum. <laughs> it's way bigger than the Optum is. Look at this. All right, so in 17, we had a snowblower. And with said snowblower, we could take different materials and throw them in the back of tippers or shoot them from point A to point B. It would also do that with snow because Seasons was already out. So what we've got here, we can raise, lower, turn it on. Let's see, fold, fold and unfold. Ah. It comes unfolded already. Good to know. Boom, boom. We can close cover. Oh, that's for the, <laughs> that's for the tipper. Ignore that. And uh, that's about it. Pretty simple, pretty standard. I'm gonna set a cruise. I'm just gonna set a cruise. We may miss one little thing here or there, but make sure you just get in line. So right now it's kicking straw even though it's got hay for some reason. Let's back that up. Let's see if we can reset that. There we go. I think it picked up a little bit of grass at the beginning. So we're picking up straw. You can see it's kind of glitching out on the bottom because it will actually hold some. It will hold a little bit. So don't worry. It's not glitched out. It's just putting it in your trailer. It's putting your trailer really fast. And we're going to bring this around see if we can kick this out. I got this to go 32 miles per hour. Here we go. And it didn't miss any. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little glitchy when it gets to the back. But there you go. Now you've got your straw. We, we have missed a little bit. So maybe don't go that fast. But got a little bit here and there. A little bit here and there. We can grab it. Kick it in. There you go. And one thing is, when you've got the straw in there, it'll kind of bring everything in. So you can see at the bottom, when I'm filling, just like that, it kind of tells me that we have the same amount in both, which is totally fine. How is that? What do you, what do you guys think about that? That is just something else. I am loving it. Let's turn it off. Let's turn everything off. That right there. This might be one of the game changingest mods that we have in game yet. We also got a new map today. Welcome to Lipiki, a nice Polish map for Farming Simulator 19. On this map, you will find several buyers, 66 fields, a small village, three economies, animal for a start, and much, much more. Have fun. Got a little bit of a problem with this though. Yeah, the, the, we have animal pins, but we don't have animals. So it should say we have animal pins at the start, legit like every single other map, except for the in-game maps. A little bit of an issue there. And three economies, yeah, that's Farming Simulator. We've got three economies. I, I just don't like it when people put stuff like that. Like, yeah, we know that's part of the base game. We get that. Can you tell us something we don't know about the map? Just to fill in words, I can't stand it. Nonetheless, Got an interesting looking map right here. Let's bump around. We're just going to take a quick look. Bunch of fields. We got itty bitty little teeny tiny ones like 65, right? Oh no, 66 is included with that. So it looks like a lot of these fields are including multiple fields. All right. We start in New Farmer with three fields. If you sell them all, you're going to get what looks to be the equivalent of almost $400,000. Not too bad. Not too bad. Field 10, biggest field on the map, $678,000. So not too bad, not too bad. Let's take a look at the cell points. We've got some, we don't have a bunch. Uh, we have three main cell points, it looks like. Some can be used for one thing rather than others. We have a barn, dairy station. We have the grain elevator east, sawmill, selling station two, very nice. Spinnery and supermarket. So there you go, nothing too crazy there. Animals, we start with no animals. Again, the wording there is a a bit deceiving as a matter of fact it's 100 deceiving some of these doors don't open 
If you guys are playing this, some of them don't open. Like these doors right here. Those doors don't open. These go all the way through, which is kind of cool. It's gonna open right here. Of course it, of course it opens. Look at that, that's cool. There's a couple more on this side as well, and I understand why they're like this. So this one's just missing a door. All of these are one way. So all the ones that are open are the ones that can open. So really going in this way and going in this way. Do keep that in mind. There's just a couple that are around. Starting equipment, it's super, super base equipment. Um, you do get all of the animal enclosures, which is kind of neat. Normally we don't like get to have the animal enclosures. You know what I mean? So we get all of them. Everything is custom. Cow pasture. Uh, the only thing is it holds 35. Pigs, it holds 60. The sheep holds 50. The horse paddock only holds six. The chicken coop only holds 60 chickens. The grain silo holds 100,000. Not too bad, not too bad. We got a little bunker silo, that's pretty cool. And that's it. And you're probably asking yourself, hey, can we buy those in game? Like if I wanted to put more of those down? Oh, absolutely. This modder has actually done that, which is really, really good. It may sound like I don't like this map. There's just a couple things that I was thrown off about that were misleading, that's all. It's a really cool map, but yeah, all of those are buyable. And I imagine the silo is as well. This is the one thing I have not checked yet, but there it is, great silo and small bunker silo. So your bunker silo is right here in game. So if you wanted to add a bunch more of these, go for it. Yeah, absolutely. That's pretty, pre okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool right there. So. That is Lapinky. Uh, this is your silo right here. Dump right here. Get it out right there. It's kind of neat. Kind of drops it on the ground. You can see that. And looks like you just shovel it into the hopper and it shoves it in there. That's, it is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. And most all the doors do open up. You're going to be using small machinery for this map. Do not kid yourself. You may look at this and go, oh, wow, that's a huge map. Ah, you're going to need small machinery. Either that or you're going to have to build a whole nother farm. Speaking of a whole nother farm. We got a whole nother farm. Let's check it out. There's actually like three farms on here. But here's your horse farm right here. Again, quick little rundown. Kind of cool. I mean, I, li I like this area right here. Let's, let's go up in the air and check it out. There we go. So we got our horses right here. Little farmyard right there. Can we go up to the house and sleep? That's a good question right there. Let's go to the door. Yes, we can. So you can have different farms. That's not too bad. So we have our main farm in the middle. We have our horse farm over there. We've got another farm up here. I believe these are pigs. Let's see if we can get the thing. Sheep. It's a sheep. <laughs> let's visit it. Why not? Again, let's go up in the air so we can get a nice overview of everything. So it looks like we got our sheep pasture right there. We got a couple little barn right there. We got another house. And we've got some sheds. Yo, this is pretty. Okay, this is cool. Oh, and it slides. Look at that. That's cool. All right, all right. You got me hooked. You got me hooked. I want to play this map now. Let's open this up. And these are all custom as well. Yup. Look at that. That is so cool. This this is unlike any other map. <laughs> Probably looks like running into the doors here. Just trying to see which ones open and which ones don't. So this door doesn't open. Nope, that door opens. Yo. This is, all right, this is cool. This is cool. Get that to open. Can't get that one to open. Can't get that one to open. And I can't get that one to open. Okay, interesting. So those don't open at all. Is there a reason for that? Let's jump around back. Ah, probably because it empties right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Those are definitely not opening. Look at that. Maybe just take those doors off the back. That's kind of misleading a little bit. Anyway, nonetheless, there you go. There is Lapiki. Very nice hillish. It is not boring at all to look at. It all makes sense. Well, most of it makes sense. It's not too bad. Well, guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you out. And if you're excited about these, let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite mod today. I know which one's my favorite. But with that being said, I hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.